I'm here outside the First United Methodist Church. We have people filing in here at very, very slow speeds. Um, this is actually the church, one of the churches I um, attended while I was growing up. So it's going to be a little interesting to come back here because I haven't been here basically since then. Um, this, this particular church, though, it's got a lot of cool architecture and building design. So um, it'll be interesting. I, I'm kind of hesitant to go in there because I really haven't been there in a long time and I have a lot of pretty good memories. I don't, I don't have any bad memories of this place. So it's going to be cool looking in there and seeing what's going on. Um, I'm going to get some more shots around the, of this place, around the building, just because it's a cool structure. And then we'll see what's going on inside, I guess. Hey, how's it going? So not very much light right here. But this, this area right here, I remember having like act little activities in. They kind of like changed the entire place around. So it's all just sort of different at this point. Um, so I'm just kind of kind of acclimating myself. But I remember coming out of these doors right here. And that's where I used to come out here. And I think we made ice cream out here once. Like we made ice cream with big barrels and stuff. So yeah, it's just kind of like a walk down memory lane. Very cool. I'm going to take some footage just like of around the place. They got a lot of ornate uh, windows and things. So. Hey, what's up? So this room right here used to be a room I have a lot of fond memories in. We used to come here and have like banquets. Right now it's kind of just empty, as you can see. But there's this cool design here. It looks like I even got a better angle. That lights up. Oh, you can hear the service. They're all clapping. I'm going to head over there in a second. It's, this church has got a really cool upstairs sort of balcony, and I'm going to try to go up there and check it out. But yeah, we used to have all sorts of activities like spaghetti feeds and pancake feeds. And this is also where the, like, the youth would come and sort of do their activities and things like that. And right beyond there is like basically where all the um, Sunday school used to be. But now it's been converted into some sort of like teenage area. So there's like pool tables and air hockey and stuff like that. So this has just been a serious walk down memory lane. And the really craziest part is that it smells the same. It smells the same. And that's what brings back all the memories is the scent of the building which is um, not something I expected. Like the moment I walked in here, it brought back a lot of memories just because it's, the building just has like this old building smell. And just that alone was like, boom, wow. All right. So I'm now in like the bowels of the church here. You can see like the venting and there's just some random halls here. And right here we have a fucking cool ass music room. Right here, I went in there. This is where we used to hang out when I was a kid. We used to be down here in the, in the basement. We'd run around and play sardines, which is a game where one person hides and then when someone finds them, they hide with them. We used to use this whole church and just hide throughout all of it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun.
so I forgot to do a debrief yesterday after I went to church at the First United Methodist Church. So um, I wanted to come out and do that real quick because I didn't really talk about the service. Uh, so this, I'm not obviously at the church anymore. I could have drove over there, but I decided to shoot here. Um, like mainly because I really liked the service. I can't believe I actually didn't debrief because um, I really enjoyed the service because it was about um, cats. Oops, shadow. It was about cats and dogs and the metaphors that can be made around um, the cats and dogs as far as, speaking of which, look at this, this little cutie, look. So speaking of dogs, that's um, my parents' dog, Rory. Um, but yeah, the, the sermon was about sort of taking the, the behaviors of cats and dogs and um, sort of analogizing it to, uh, they they analog they basically made the analogy that the God of the Old Testament is a lot like a cat, and the God of the New Testament is a lot like a dog, or Jesus is a lot like a dog. Um, and they they even went so far as to like mention the extremes of how far you can push these things into sort of the like negative territory if you're not careful. And I thought that was all really cool, and then. They, we went out for some sort of one voice, I think is what it's called, an organization that's sort of, I guess, organizing some of the, tr the, the churches. And they were saying that we should go out on the front steps and sing a song. And so we all went out there and um, we were on the front steps of the church and we all sang our song. And um, I didn't have any sheet music, so I, did, I just kind of uh, voiced along as best I could. But um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's kind of weird doing the debriefs a day later, but it was a really cool service. I've, as always, everyone's really nice, really kind people. Good time. And that's it. Thank you. And out.